Good evening, class of 2020. Please enjoy this pre-commencement message prepared just for you from the 44th President of the United States of America, President Barack Obama. Hi, everybody. Thank you for that beautiful introduction. I could not be prouder of everything you've done in your time with the Obama Foundation. And, of course, I couldn't be prouder of all of you in the graduating class of 2020, as well as the teachers and the coaches, and most of all, parents and family who guided you along the way. Now, graduating is a big achievement under any circumstances. Some of you have had to overcome serious obstacles along the way, whether it was an illness or a parent losing a job or living in a neighborhood where people too often count you out. Along with the usual challenges of growing up, all of you have had to deal with the added pressures of social media, reports of school shootings, and the specter of climate change. And then, just as you're about to celebrate having made it through, just as you've been looking forward to proms and senior nights, graduation ceremonies, and let's face it, a whole bunch of parties, the world is turned upside down by a global pandemic. And as much as I'm sure you love your parents, I'll bet that being stuck at home with them and playing board games or watching Tiger King on TV is not exactly how you envisioned the last few months of your senior year. Now, I'll be honest with you. The disappointments of missing a live graduation, those will pass pretty quick. I don't remember much of my own high school graduation. I know that not having to sit there and listen to a commencement speaker isn't all that bad. Mine usually go on way too long. Also, not that many people look great in those caps, especially if you have big ears like me. And you'll have plenty of time to catch up with your friends once the immediate public health crisis is over. But what remains true is that your graduation marks your passage into adulthood, the time when you begin to take charge of your own life. It's when you get to decide what's important to you, the kind of career you wanna pursue, who you wanna build a family with, the values you wanna live by. And given the current state of the world, that may be kind of scary. If you'd planned on going away for college, getting dropped off at campus in the fall, that's no longer a given. If you are planning to work while going to school, finding that first job is going to be tougher. Even families that are relatively well off are dealing with massive uncertainty. Those who were struggling before, they're hanging on by a thread. All of which means that you're gonna have to grow up faster than some generations. This pandemic has shaken up the status quo and laid bare a lot of our country's deep-seated problems from massive economic inequality, to ongoing racial disparities, to a lack of basic health care for people who need it. It's woken a lot of young people up to the fact that the old ways of doing things just don't work. That it doesn't matter how much money you make if everyone around you is hungry and sick. And that our society and our democracy only work when we think not just about ourselves, but about each other. It's also pulled the curtain back on another hard truth, something that we all have to eventually accept once our childhood comes to an end. You know, all those adults that you used to think were in charge and knew what they were doing? Turns out they don't have all the answers. A lot of them aren't even asking the right questions. So if the world's gonna get better, it's gonna be up to you. That realization may be kind of intimidating, but I hope it's also inspiring. With all the challenges this country faces right now, nobody can tell you, no, you're too young to understand, or this is how it's always been done. Because with so much uncertainty, with everything suddenly up for grabs, this is your generation's world to shape. Since I'm one of the old guys, I won't tell you what to do with this power that rests in your hands, but I'll leave you with three quick pieces of advice. First, don't be afraid. America's gone through tough times before, 
slavery, civil war, famine, disease, the Great Depression, and 9-11. And each time, we came out stronger, usually because a new generation, young people like you, learned from past mistakes and figured out how to make things better. Second, do what you think is right. Doing what feels good, what's convenient, what's easy, that's how little kids think. Unfortunately, a lot of so-called grown-ups, including some with fancy titles and important jobs, still think that way, which is why things are so screwed up. I hope that instead you decide to ground yourself in values that last, like honesty, hard work, responsibility, fairness, generosity, respect for others. You won't get it right every time. You'll make mistakes like we all do. But if you listen to the truth that's inside yourself, even when it's hard, even when it's inconvenient, people will notice, they'll gravitate towards you, and you'll be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. And finally, build a community. No one does big things by themselves. Right now, when people are scared, it's easy to be cynical and say, let me just look out for myself, or my family, or people who look or think or pray like me. But if we're gonna get through these difficult times, if we're gonna create a world where everybody has opportunity to find a job and afford college, if we're gonna save the environment and defeat future pandemics, then we're gonna have to do it together. So be alive to one another's struggles. Stand up for one another's rights. Leave behind all the old ways of thinking that divide us, sexism, racial prejudice, status, greed, and set the world on a different path. When you need help, Michelle and I have made it the mission of our foundation to give young people like you the skills and support to lead in your own communities and to connect you with other young leaders around the country and around the globe. But the truth is, you don't need us to tell you what to do because in so many ways, you've already started to lead. Congratulations, class of 2020. Keep making us proud. Hi, my name is Jordan Knotts, and I'm the vice president of the class of, class of 2020. Please join me as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. to the Willingboro High School Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Exercise. I am Kimberly Ash, Principal of Willingboro High School. It brings me great joy tonight to present to you our graduates, the trailblazers of the Class of 2020. This year, we are doing a virtual graduation for the first time 
because we are in the midst of a pandemic. I'm asking that if you have a graduate in your home, that you would grab a hold to the program that they were given last night during the diploma distribution. The program here will follow that format. I'm asking that you do this so that you may join us at the end of this ceremony with a clap out for our students. I want to welcome all of you. Welcome to Dr. Hackett, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Carlos Worthy, School Board President, the school board members of the Willingboro Board of Education, Mayor Dr. Tiffany Worthy, and the council members of the Willingboro Township Council. I welcome all of the families, friends, and alumni of Willingboro High School. I welcome the faculty and staff of Willingboro High School. And most of all, I welcome you, the students, the class of 2020, to your graduation exercise. In a traditional graduation, we would have processed out to our football field at this time. In front of you would be members of the school board, members of town council, and staff members. Instead of doing that procession, you will now be greeted by each of them in a virtual well-wishing comment. This is Councilman Ed Anderson. I wanted to wish the class of Willingboro High School 2020 congratulations on a great year. I know it's been tough, but you saw it through. And I just want to say on behalf of Township Council, we're behind you. Much success moving forward. Congratulations, class of 2020. Willingboro High School graduates 2020, I am so proud of you. On behalf of the Municipal Council, um, Rebecca Perrone, I want to wish you congratulations on your new endeavors and I just want to leave a small message with you um, to look at today as a gift you know, in the present from God. Uh, remember that yesterday is gone and tomorrow is your future. So remember today as a, the present, a gift from God and everything you do today will matter tomorrow. So again, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you much success and congratulations. Thank you. Class of 2020, you did it. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. Go forth and be great. Greetings, Class of 2020. Looks like you made it. You've come to the end of your journey here at Willingboro High School, but a new voyage awaits you just outside those doors. But you're prepared. You are prepared to tackle any challenges that come your way. And we're depending on you. Our future is literally in your hands. Make us proud. Borough pride always lives inside. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Danielle Spinner, and I'm a member of the Willingboro School Board. As a past graduate of Willingboro High School myself, I am incredibly proud of you and all of your amazing accomplishments. Even during this unprecedented time, you did not give up, give in, or give out. You pushed through and achieved success. I can't wait to see what life has in store for you next. Where, whatever it is, my prayers go with you. Hello, class of 2020. Seniors, yay, you guys did it. This is definitely a milestone for everyone. The last part of your school year was devastating and you couldn't be with your friends, you had to practice social distancing, but you guys persevered. You made it through these challenging times. As you receive your diplomas, be in the moment, take it all in and enjoy it. This is a once in a lifetime event. You guys definitely, definitely deserve it. As you pursue your dreams and goals of the future, I pray for your success every step of the way. Class of 2020, go out there and make a positive difference. And enjoy yourself, as of now, enjoy yourself with your family and friends. Congratulations. To the rising kings and queens of class of 2020, we would like to salute you. Congratulations on this monument moment. We are proud of you. We let you know that you are empowered and you are capable of everything that is in you. Wishing you the best of everything that is to come. Congratulations and best wishes. Hello class of 2020, I would just like to send you a congratulations from a class of 1990 um, Chimera. 
I'm sure that you know that no matter where you go or what you do, you will always see a Chimera because we are doing great things. I'm looking forward to you doing great things. To sky is the limit, so I know that there is nothing that a Chimera cannot do. Uh, wish you well. April Maxwell Henley, Willenborough School Board member. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. This is a small chapter in your life, and I know this is not the way you'd like to celebrate it. But this chapter does not define you. You have many more to go, and I'm just here to congratulate you and wish you all the best. I'm proud of you. Go, Burrow! Chimera class of 2020, your race is not over. It's only beginning. Remember all the lessons you have been taught during your time here at Willowboro High School. Use these lessons to guide you as you continue your race. Keep pursuing knowledge, read books that edify you, and add your knowledge base. Be confident in the knowledge that we are still here to support as you progress towards your new goal. Don't be afraid to, change, to charge ahead towards your greatness. And if you stumble, remember this, Asian proverb, fall seven times and rise deep. Like the great Thomas Edison, you can fall your way to success. The race may seem long, but don't let fear slow you down. Congratulations, class of 2020. To the class of 2020, congratulations. I am so proud of each and every one of you. It has been a pleasure to be your assistant principal for the last two years. Today, you celebrate the accomplishments of over 12 years of study. I know it has taken a lot of work for you to get to this moment, and you did not even let a virus get in your way. Now, you are preparing to go out to a world that looks much different than we all thought it would just a few months ago. This may seem daunting, but I know that each and every one of you has what it takes to be successful. Know that we've got your back. As you can tell from today's ceremony, you are not alone. You have a whole community that is here to support you, and we are all rooting for you to, to, for you to succeed. So today, we celebrate all that you have done so far, but we also look forward to the accomplishments to come. Congratulations again, Class of 2020. Class of 2020, the Trailblazers. This is Mr. Owen, Athletic Director and Vice Principal. It has been an honor and a privilege to watch you all grow over these last four years. I hope that the next years of your life will be as impactful and you will have as much success as possible. We thank you for your contribution to Willowboro High School. We hope that you come back and give back to the community, give back to the young students that are coming up. And again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You made it. We wish you the best in all your future accomplishments. I'll leave you with this. Be willing to embrace, wonder, to experience unexpected discovery, and to go in an unknown direction. We love you all, and I want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your Willingboro High School experience. And as Ms. Asher said, always remember, Borough Pride lives inside. Good evening, Chimeras. I am Saida Yunus, the Class of 2020 President. I would like to say thank you, teachers, coaches, staff, parents, and families for the care and support you've given us through the years. Friday, March 13th, 2020, was a normal school day, with some of us joking about COVID-19. We were excited about having a whole month off from school. However, we didn't realize that the pandemic would be a nightmare causing approximately 98,000 deaths and 245 deaths in Burlington County alone. It, it altered our spring sports, senior award night, senior prom, senior skip day, and most of all, a regular commencement ceremony. While we are saddened by these circumstances, we still realize that the most important thing is our health and safety. As we move forward from the things we have lost, we reflect on the exciting experiences at Willingboro High School, such as Borough Pride and other activities. It was especially exciting on the first day of our freshman year 
when Miss Ash named us trailblazers. The class who will blaze a trail for others to follow. We are the pathfinders for those who struggle during difficult times. They will see that we made it and we will continue to go forward. Today, class of 2020, I challenge you to let go of your childhood and enter into adulthood. Keep making the right decisions and stay resilient in spite of the obstacles you may encounter. Always remember this, we made it through this difficult time in history and we can make it through anything. I would like to give a special shout out to staff members like Ms. Wilson, Coach Everett, and Ms. Bright, also Ms. Clark, for their support through my four years of high school. Lastly, I would like to leave you with this Class of 2020 Chimera Pledge that you can take with you to the next chapter of your life. Chimeras, C, chase your dreams. H, have a positive mindset. I, influence those around you. M, move with a purpose. E, embrace change. R, Recognize your greatness. And A, always keep your head up and remember, Borough Pride. Greetings, class of 2020. I am Dr. Tiffany Worthy, Mayor of Willingboro. I am excited for each of you and commend you for your outstanding accomplishments. Your community service, academic accomplishments, and athletic accomplishments reflect the diverse interests of your class. You are ready to apply your knowledge, experiences, and lessons learned to enhance our community and the world. And in many ways, you already have. The swift shift to remote learning demonstrates your agility and resolve to succeed despite the pandemic that we are all navigating through. That same resilience, focus, and intelligence are the skills you will need to readily apply as you enter into the world. Whether you decide to join the ranks of the military, attend trade school, enter the job market, or enroll in college, you will need to succeed at your endeavors. As I reflected on what to share with you today, I was reminded of some impactful words that were shared with me from a 1991 Willingboro High School graduate. He grew up in Hawthorne, and later became a 1996 Olympic Games gold medalist. His name, Lamont Smith. If you know anything about training, you know that it is very intense. So you can imagine training for the Olympics required a lot of focus and discipline. I remember asking him how he did it. And he said, purpose, plan, persevere. I say to you class of 2020, the key to achieving success is to find your purpose, make a plan, and persevere. Finding your purpose is critical to how you navigate the world and will help you to figure out what job to take, what college major to pursue, and certainly help you to make major life decisions. Your purpose is full of what you're naturally good at and what you enjoy doing. You may not have it entirely figured out yet, but as you seek it, it will become even more clear. In high school and in college, I didn't know that one day I would serve as the mayor. What I knew was that I enjoyed leading change and people trusted my ideas and decisions. I knew that I wanted to make a positive difference that impacted the lives of many and that I had lots of good ideas that when put to work, achieved the goals that many people had. Perhaps there are things that you enjoy doing and perhaps people compliment you on those things. Well, those things will help you to determine what your purpose is. Be clear on who you are and what you plan to become and write it down. Once you know your purpose, it's time for the fun part. Make a plan. Planning includes talking to people who are doing the things you aspire to do and taking notes. Although you aren't going to do exactly what they did, it's great to get ideas from others who have done what you want to do. Ask lots of questions. 
Make appointments with people to sit and talk with them. Leverage social media to reach people who you want to sit in rooms with and use all of that to make a plan on how to achieve your goal. Make a timeline, map it out, what you want to become and who you are becoming. Finally, persevere. When things become difficult, persevere. Every step towards your purpose will not be an easy one. Sometimes we'll have to make sacrifices and many times you will just be tired. But if you are working towards your purpose and you are making progress on your plan, keep going. In closing, I am proud of each of you. All of your studying, test taking, writing, and online learning has culminated to this point today. Keep going, be relentless, unstoppable, and continue to succeed. Be ready for all the opportunities that the world has to offer and adapt whenever you find that you're just not ready. Remember so many people who have come before you who fought for the opportunities that you have today. Reflect on the sacrifices of previous generations who paved the way and run towards success. Just find your purpose, make a plan, and persevere. Class of 2020, congratulations. You've got this. Make all of Willingboro proud as you shape and create our world. Good evening. First and foremost, I would like to say welcome and thank you to the administration, staff, teachers, family, and friends for tuning in to Willingboro High School's Class of 2020 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. I am Gloria Hughes, and I am honored to address you as this year's valedictorian. I would like to especially thank my parents and teachers for pushing me to get to this point. Four long years ago, we were just small little freshmen. I remember sitting in the auditorium together as a class. Miss Ash manifested our destiny by giving us a nickname, Trailblazers. A trailblazer is defined as someone who makes a new track a pioneer and innovator. Since day one, we were always the class given the opportunity to test the waters. Whenever things needed to be changed, we experienced it firsthand. Out of all of the other classes, it was always us because the board and administration knew the class of 2020 was special. They knew well before us that we could easily adapt to any situation or obstacle thrown our way. For many of us, senior year was all we looked forward to. For many of us, we found joy in creating memories with friends. For many of us, we expected to be in school till June. For many of us, prom was our chance to pop out. For many of us, we wanted to allow our family to see us graduate. We worked tirelessly for 12 years to be able to walk across that stage and get our diplomas. But, we can't let the setbacks overpower the reason we are all here. The fact that we will not physically walk and participate in senior traditions does not invalidate our accomplishments. Today is a huge milestone for each of us and our families. After today, we will no longer be Willingboro High School students. We will be Willingboro High School graduates. With everything going on in the world, we are able to push through all the pain, uncertainty, confusion, and losses to make it to this point. When focusing on school, finding the strength and energy to complete all the online work became difficult. We did not give up. No other class has been through and has lost as much as we have, which just goes to show we are much stronger than we think. I am sure when we began high school, none of us would have even thought that it would end like this. But none of that matters because we did it. We overcame every last bit of change, adapted, and found new ways of doing things. I know from my interactions with many of my classmates that as a whole, we are the most driven class. 
When I look at us, I see doers, go-getters, and achievers. Class of 2020 is full of so many individuals that will continue to be trailblazers far past high school by being great and making a name for ourselves as doctors, lawyers, athletes, entrepreneurs, musicians, engineers, and so much more. Nobody's journey is the same, but each and every one of us has shown that we can handle anything. So be proud of your compliment, accomplishments. Be proud that you made it through high school. Class of 2020, we are the trailblazers. And time and time again, we continue to show it. Remember, we are living through history. Class of 2020 will be remembered forever by everyone across the world. Graduating is a huge milestone. And as the notable Nelson Mandela once said, remember to celebrate milestones as you prepare for the road ahead. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good afternoon, classmates, teachers, parents, and staff. My name is Matthew Ripsendar, and I am your class of 2020 salutatorian. I have been blessed with the privilege today to speak in front of you, and I know I must choose my words wisely, for these will be some of the last words spoken to us at this school. But before I begin, I would like to thank a few people that helped me get here. I would like to thank the staff and administrators for giving me the opportunity, my parents and friends for always pushing me to do better, and for Jesus for giving me the ability to get here. Well, class of 2020, it's really that day. For the past four years, we've been wandering the halls, wondering when it would be our time. Well, now it's our time. I know every class feels special in their own way, but I truly believe that class of 2020 is one of a kind. The obstacles that we've faced on this journey are plentiful. And to be honest, it wouldn't be crazy if you decided to quit halfway. But I'm glad you're sitting here today, because that means that you didn't. I mean, come on. How many people do you know can say that their senior year have been interrupted by a worldwide pandemic? If you would have told me just six short months ago that we would have to graduate online, I would have laughed at you in your face. Yet here we are. And that's the truth, isn't it? Here we are, class of 2020, class of the Trailblazers, saying goodbye one last time. Although I will say this, this is one heck of a goodbye. I wish I could say that we're entering a beautiful new world and that we'll, once we leave these doors, we'll be given equal opportunity. But sadly, that's not the case. Now that more than ever, we are realizing as a country that we have problems that need to be fixed. While I personally cannot attest to what it's like being a young black man, I can attest to what it's like being a young man of color. There will always be people that look down on us, people that try to discredit us, people that will try to set us up for failure, but it's up to us to prove them wrong and be the group of world changers I know we are. For some of us, we've been proving people wrong for the past four years, succeeding where others thought we would fail. And for that, I'm truly proud to be salutatorian of such an amazing class. Class of 2020, man, that's never gonna get old. I see the potential for great things and every one of my peers. However, my question to you today is, do you see it? Do you believe that you're a world changer, a difference maker? Because there will be times when no one else believes in you, and it's in those times that you must believe that you're destined for greater things. And if you believe that in your heart, you will succeed. Maybe not today, or tomorrow, or the day after that, but it will come. I wanna leave you with one last quote before I walk off from Ted Koppel. Pessimists calculate the odds. Optimists believe they can overcome them. Thank you and goodbye, class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. I know this is weird, but not what you expected. All of a sudden, normal and routine looks pretty good, doesn't it? But think of it like this. Life is full of unexpected circumstances. Some you can control, some you cannot. What's most important is how you handle these unforeseen situations. The method you adapt to these unplanned obstacles is how you will be judged. In my opinion, the graduating class of 2020 is the most prepared for all life situations. You have been disappointed, but you moved on. 
You have been unknowing, but you adapted. You have been frustrated, but you were patient. You have been unhappy, but now you are great. My proudest professional accomplishment has been as your advisor for the past four years. The Will and Grow class of 2020 has a special place in my heart. You have taught me as much, if not more, than I could have ever taught you. I know I'm a better person having known all of you. Hopefully, I had the same influence on you. I will never forget your laughs, your tenacity, your smiles, your tears, your work ethics, your joy, and your hearts. I know you will bring all these wonderful characteristics to your loved ones and acquaintances. I know you will teach them as you have taught me. So stand up and take a bow, Crimera Trailblazers. You earned it. Hello, Willingboro High School, class of 2020. I am so very honored to have been given the opportunity to say just a few words on this momentous occasion. Uh, it's been something extra special being your co-advisor with Mr. Riccio. I got a chance to see you grow and mature. And let me say, let me be the first to say that you guys are a feisty bunch. You're feisty, but you're also strong. You're intelligent, you're athletic, you're dependable, you're deep. I've had some conversations with some of you about life that was nothing short of amazing. And you're incredibly funny. I've heard, I've had some of my best laughs this year with you. On my toughest days, you made me laugh, and that's everything. I don't want to forget to mention that you all, you, how you manage those concession stands, you guys did it like bosses. I'm so proud of you. If I could, I'd like to remind you that you guys are trailblazers. Remember, that's what Ms. Ash named you. And you're trailblazers because you will make a path to get to your goals. And when you get there, and you will get there, I hope you reach back and help others. Hopefully those from Willingboro and all around the world. Now I'd like to say three things really quickly. I want you to know that you're going to make mistakes. We all do. But I want you to try not to make those mistakes that can't be rectified. You know what I mean? That can't be corrected. Okay. Second, and this is a big one, it's a quote from Maya Angelou. She said, when you know better, you do better. Let me say that again. When you know better, you do better. Enough said? Good. Last thing, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you if you need me. And like I said before, I'll be here, and that's forever. I love you guys. Take care, be safe, and stay in touch. Greetings to the Willingboro Board of Education President and Board Members, the Willingboro Mayor and Township Council, Superintendent's Cabinet, Ms. Ash and her high school team, Willingboro Public School staff, family, and friends. And to the class of 2020, greetings and congratulations. To all of our parents and family members, Congratulations are in order for each of you. Your love, your persistence, your dedication, and your faith have played a major part in this most special moment. Parents and family members, we applaud you. To the high school administration and staff, you have once again shaped the future by providing our graduates with the tools that they need to navigate through life's triumphs and challenges. Willingboro High School staff and administration, we applaud you. To the class of 2020, this is your moment. This is your time. Your dedication, your commitment, and your inner strength have made this very moment possible. I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each of you for reaching the amazing milestone of graduating from Willingboro High School as part of the class of 2020. We applaud you. I'd hope to have the opportunity to meet you and get to know the class of 2020. However, I know for certain that this graduating class is resilient as you have persevered through this unprecedented time. Ms. Ash refers to you as trailblazers. What I know about trailblazers 
is that they have the ability to persevere despite any obstacle or challenge. Perseverance is a tremendous trait to have. It has been the determining factor in the success of many people who have made a positive change in their communities. History has shown that trials and tribulations will most certainly invade our lives, but strength and endurance have served as mighty forces that have led to triumph over adversity. As a school community, COVID-19 resulted in the Willenboro Public Schools sailing through uncharted waters. Yet, I am confident that you will reach the safety of the shore because you represent Willenboro. You represent borough pride. I pray that you always remember to believe that you have the power to accomplish the goals that you set for your life's journey. Your journey will be filled with triumphs, challenges, joy, pain, but most importantly, it will be filled with new beginnings, new chapters to your story, a fresh look at the future and all of the wonderful possibilities that it holds. As you work toward adding new chapters to your story, never forget the love and support of your family, the commitment of your teachers and administrators, and the contributions of your ancestors. Never forget to help those who are less fortunate than you. Reach high, dream big, and believe in the power that you possess. Don't ever let the fear of failure stop you from accomplishing your goals. If you fail at something, get up, brush it off, and keep moving. Actor Christopher Reeve said it best. So many of our dreams first seem impossible. Then they seem improbable. And then when we summon the will, they become inevitable. I have every confidence that your story will inspire others through your successful experiences. Your story may include finding a cure for cancer, preserving our environment, educating our youth, or enforcing the laws that will help to make this world a more equitable and safer place for all. I anticipate success for each and every one of you, and I will eagerly sit on the sidelines cheering you on and awaiting to read your story of accomplishments chapter by chapter. You are the author of your story. Every chapter is based on the positive choices that you make. I pray for a beautiful ending. May good health and fortune be your constant companions. I wish for you a beautiful story filled with many successful experiences. Congratulations, class of 2020. Don't forget, Borough Pride forever. Class of 2020, you did it. As the president of the Willingboro and Vicinity NAACP, I want to say congratulations. Through social distancing and pandemic, civil unrest and uprising, you did it. Against all odds and without the traditional frills of senior year, you have reached the day to celebrate your academic achievement, your graduation day. Today, you join the ranks of decorated Willingboro alumni striving to make change, break barriers, set records, express themselves creatively, entertain, and bring joy across the country. As a member of Chimera Nation, you are a trailblazer. And to some, your sheer existence is mythical in nature, illusionary, and impossible to achieve. But here you are, shining bright through a time of such uncertainty and darkness, Despite all of the challenges you have had to face to reach this point, you continue to push through anger, sadness, disappointment, and fear to embark on what will be the most uncertain and thrilling time of your life. You may not yet know how you want to leave your mark. And even if you do, you'll wonder where to start. The road ahead of you will not be smooth or straight or brightly lit, There'll be speed bumps and potholes and plenty of sh poop. There'll be plenty of poop. And while you may not know what is next for you, the fact of the matter is none of us do. Not one person has it all figured out. And there will be some fear without a doubt. But in the words of Marion Williamson, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. Do not fall into the trap of self-pity and despair. 
Ask your, asking yourself, who am I to be great, to be brilliant, to be talented, to be fabulous? The real question is, who are you not to be? You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a chimera and you are made to win. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Thank you to the superintendent of schools, Dr. Hackett. Thank you to Ms. Ash, the principal of Willingboro High School. Thank you to the Board of Education and thank you to the Willingboro High School Graduation Committee for this blessing me with this opportunity to be able to participate in the Willingboro High School 2020 graduation. Next, I want to thank and say congratulations to the class of 2020 from Willingboro High School. And I say welcome to the Chimera alumni family as they graduate of Willingboro High School class of 1991. It is an honor for me to be part of this ceremony. I want to say congratulations, not just to some of the students, but I want to recognize all of the students. I recognize all of you, whether you finished at the highest point in the class or you finished at a lower point, all of you are important and all of you have made history. You are the first class to graduate from Willingboro High School that started their senior year by taking classes in the physical classroom. And you finished your classes in an online environment that is historical. Uh, we should not be surprised that you were able to do this because you've been part of history throughout your generation. Your generation, if I could think of a term, would be called the history makers because many of you were born in the wake of 9-11. Many of you understand what it means when this world and this nation went through great tragedy. You overcame and you continued to rise. Then, less than two decades later, you were placed in a situation where you had to deal with the worst pandemic this nation has ever faced in over 100 years. And you rise, you succeeded, and you lived through that moment. So I salute you for doing what many people would have thought was impossible. You are a generation of history makers. Never lose your identity. As a Chimera alumni family member, I think it's best appropriate and best and appropriate for me to end this by focusing on three words. I give you three words of encouragement. Those three words begin with the letter C. They are comfort, they are courage, and they are challenge. So I encourage you to always find the comfort to fulfill your purpose, to be who you were created to be, to never compromise on either one of them, and to always be uncomfortable with the status quo. Status quo. I encourage you to find confidence in being unwavering in your morals, your personal integrity, and your commitment so that you can be the difference that this world needs to see and experience. Realize no one should ever suffer in silence when you're present. And as a Chimera alumni of also the track team, it would be inappropriate for me to not wrap this up by bringing track into this. So my last words, and as I depart, and I encourage each and every one of you, I challenge you to run your life's race with resilience so that you are able to recover when necessary, you're able to set the pace when required, and you're able to sprint down that final straightaway when you get to your course's end. I salute you, I thank you, I say welcome to the Chimera alumni family, and may God bless you and your families. Class of 2020, we have now come to the part of the program where you receive your principal's address. This is the final time I will address you as students at Willingboro High School. Please pay close attention to the message that I have prepared for you. I had each and every one of you in mind as these words came out. When I met you as freshmen, I named you the Trailblazers. I named you the Trailblazers at that time because you were the students who initiated the sixth grade academy. You were the students who cut a pathway for other students to follow. You were the students who were going along a direction that had never been traveled before. Little did I know that you would be trailing a, a path and blazing a pathway that is a tremendous task that our whole world is confronting. You did not know, nor did I, that you would spend your final high school years in virtual classrooms. None of us even knew what a Zoom meeting was, but yet this is how we've ended. We've had online assemblies, 
and you eagerly waited every morning for me to post to you what day of the schedule we would follow and what classes you would take. Every Sunday night, I would sit and write a message to you that was straight from my heart about what was going on in Willingboro High School. You were always the students who did it your way. You were truly a class like no other. You found a way into my heart. You made me do things that I didn't think I'd have to do before. For example, when our top students had not filled out the application for a huge scholarship, I gathered the top 10 female students in our high school, cleared their schedule, sat you all down in the library and said, you will not leave until this application is complete. But at the end of that process, you all said thank you. And you knew a little bit more about yourselves and you understood each other even more from having done that process together. You have always had a uniqueness about you and you will use that to make this world a better place. You are the ones who have to now pick up a mantle for social justice so that your children will inherit a world that is better, more compassionate, and more unified. You are the grandchildren of the civil rights movement, and you are the children of 9-11. You are survivors by nature. You were born in the wake of a terrorist attack that took out thousands of Americans. You've lost schoolmates to school shootings all across this country. And now you're facing COVID-19, national unrest, and an economic implosion in our country. It seems as though this year, your year, has been consumed with tragedy. I challenge you to see this year as a year packed with possibility. It is possible that you will be the voice that changes the atmosphere in our nation. It is possible that you will become a part of a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, all people. It is possible that you will help relieve our planet of the devastations of global warming. It is possible for you to be the face of the unified United States of America. The possibilities are unlimited. You were born for a time such as this. Seize the moment, innovate, create, transform this world. We need you. As you leave Willingboro High School for the final time as a student, take with you everything we have tried to impart in you. Reflect on the words of the week. Each one was chosen specifically to grow you intellectually and emotionally. Remember, your principal loves you. Remember, I became a principal because your life is worth my time. Remember, you're worth it. Remember to always keep your head up. And remember, Borough Pride lives inside. Take it with you into this world and do what all chimeras do, leave a mark. Now it's time for your poem, your Asian rhyme that I create every year for every class. This is uniquely crafted for the class of 2020. To the trailblazing class of 2020, you are truly a remarkable generation, facing a world with the COVID invasion. You have blazed the trail with an unknown creation. Finish school online, this is the first occasion. You are strong and you're smart. Your future is emblazoned to change the world for the life of our nation. To this, I salute you for your firm dedication. And I welcome you, the newest members of the Chimera Nation. Congratulations to the class of 2020. And now is the moment that you've been waiting for, the awarding of the diplomas. To Dr. Hackett, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Carlos Worthy, School Board President, members of the Willingboro Board of Education School Board, our Town Council, Mayor Worthy, family and friends, Willingboro High School Chimera alumni, 
and the Willingboro High School faculty and staff. I do present to you the graduates of the class of 2020. The next voices you will hear will be the voices of our assistant principals, Mr. Chrysostomo, Mr. Owen, Mr. Booker, and Ms. Hippowit. At this time, I, Kimberly Ash, principal of Willingboro High School, do certify that these students have met all the requirements of NJSA 18A 7C-1, NJAC 68-4.2, and Willingboro Township Board of Education Policy 6146, and is hereby awarded the diploma given here at Willingboro High School on June 23rd, 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Destiny Addison, Richard Allen, Jaden Ambrose, Kamaraj Amrit, Imani L. Anderson, Masai R. Anderson, Michaela J. Antoinette, Shayla M. Atwood, Ayana Banks, Najira S. Barnes, Ciara I. Beckles, Justin A. Best, Malachi Blacknall, Jalen A. Blake, Kamani Belay, Mackay D. Braithwaite, Unique Brockington, Malachi E. Brown, Niaja L. Brown, Mackay A. Bryant, Sean D. Bryant, Precious S. Bullet, Isaiah Bullock, Jordan G. Burdett, Chanel N. Burgess, Destiny A. Burroughs, Damon L. Burtwell, Jameer T. Kane, Ashley E. Camacho, Stephanie Campbell, Tajane Carter, Sanaya D. Kaysen, Tanasia I. Chapman, Nazim J. Chavez, Uchechi Chukwu, Israel K. Clark, Zaire J. Clements, Sasha O. Coppin, Azizi J. Darby, Samuel Davis, Desmond DeGroat, Mackay Delator, Christian E. Dickerson, Rasheem Dickerson, Wankezi Dolo, Ayani Dorch, Javion J. Early, Antoine M. Edwards, Price Elliott, Adonis Espinal, Lydia Fayet, Issa Ferguson, Jade Figueroa, Daquan Fish, Kaya Fluellen, Jeremiah Fofi, Brianna Foster, Trayvon Fraser, Joshua Garvin Campbell, Diagene Gale, Sheraton Jabeen, Tyrone G. Jr., Alicia May Genesti, Kalia Gilmore, Danielle Grady, Elijah Green, Jihad Green, Chelsea Green, Diavion Gregory, Angelica 
Guzman, Demetrius Hamilton, Anajala Hargro, Malachi Harley Jones, Clifford Harmon, Shahid Harpar, Aliyah Harper, Abigail Harris, Tyler Haskin, Ahmad Hatcher, Rashad Hatcher, Tiffany Hange, Kalaja Higginbottom, Christian Hill, Desiree Hill, Nathan Holden, Marcine Hollingwood, Serena Hauser, Jason Howard, Diavion Hudson, Gloria Hughes, Muhammad Ashad, Afushat Ayola, Deshaun Jackson, Agane Kewe Jamaho, Jada Jamison, Lamar Johnson, Ryan Jones, Selena Julian, Aza Kamask, Tia Wan Kaylin Top, Sedante Kinchin, Dwayne Knight, Jordan Knox, Miranda LePay, Oliver Lilly. Christopher Long, Kelly Ann Long, Zaire Lugo, Aaron Lynch, Giovanna Malave, Niangel Maldonado, Anthony Marsh, Yanil Matos, Jordan Mayton, Brian Mazik, Anaya McLeod, Jordan McMaster, Caleb McCray, Jeremiah Meekins, Zhu Mei Chu, Zamaya Miles, Shamaya Miller, Joshua Monroe, Jeremiah Montero, Jeffrey Montague, Diami Moore, Tanasia Moore, Isaiah Morris, Kona Mustafa, Stephen Nagby, Patricia Nash Henderson, Zamar Newbill Evelyn, Deanna Padilla, Kayla Page, Makai Patrick, David Piet Holm, Samara Pierre Lewis, Matthew Ramsendor, Malika Raythor, Javon Reed, Keyshawn Riley, Nathaniel Robertson, Shadane Robinson, Siani Robinson, Dewan 
Robinson, Jordan Robinson Holden, Jonathan Rodriguez, Aria Rosa, Javion Rosario, Jonathan Rufus, Kisan Salisbury, Nicholas Santana, Asia Sawed Ash, Tiana Savage, Yannique Savage, Alexis Seegers, Aaliyah Smith, Cameron Smith, Kamisha Smith, Shantae Steyer, Christian Terrell, Brandon Thompson, Donna Toussaint, Naeem Walker, Aaliyah Washington, Quentin Wa, Roshane Wa, Nasir Way, Tamia Welsh Smith, Shatik Westcott, Julian Wilcox, Dion Williams, Matthew Williams, Nyla Williams, Shatisha Williams, Talia. Williams, Thomas Williams, Mason Williams Perlman, Dontavius Wilson, Darius Wise, Joshua Witherspoon, Mark Wood, Zamir Woodard, Shamira T. Wright, Nasir Young, Zachary Young, Saida Yunus, Indy Zayas Koda.
of 2020. We did it. We are officially alumni of Willingboro High School. Join me for our tassel turn from right to left. Once again, congratulations, class of 2020.